Oh, fuck. Oh. That's never happened to me before. Hey there, guys. How's it going here? So, this is a, uh, here's the thing. I did, I did make a video of this game, right? And, unfortunately, it didn't go so well because I ended up screwing up, well, you're about, you know, you're about to see a replay of the beginning because as you can tell from the, uh, this video here, I fucked it up. So what I like about this game is, of course, it's exactly like Dark Souls, but a little bit more on a, uh, it's not as hard, but the handling of the game is actually quite uh, smooth, as you may say. So you're basically this humanoid, not a female, not a male, obviously a genderless for those kinds of players because you can't choose any gender here. You're pretty much like a ghost, you know? You you take a, you take over these armors and you call them shells. So it's it's quite an interesting game, like the concept behind it. So here's what we look like right here. It's slow to move, obviously, because you know the water. But damn, is it smooth. Yeah, so Harden, you know, you get this ability called Harden, which is as it sounds, you know, your uh, your bot it prevents harm from your attacks and is broken upon taking damage. So it's kind of like a free pass of a hit. So I'm not too sure about the weapons in this game. I mean, uh, I did see... I did pick up another weapon in my other playthrough, but I didn't equip it yet because I didn't see anything about equipping. I don't think you do change weapons. I could be wrong, though. Visually, this game is beautiful, and I freaking freaked out when I saw this. I thought I had to fight it. So pretty much, I, w I really wish I could uh, <laughs> recreate this my dramatic effect, my dramatic fucking yelling with this game because it was, it's just so cool. Like, um, I mean, it's I w I want to call it a PG thirteen version of Dark Souls, but it, it really isn't. I mean, maybe it is to some people because it's not as violent. Nah, that's stupid. I don't even know what to say here. So pretty much at this point, we just passed that tutorial and we're supposed to get our first armor here. Now what I notice in this game is, it's called Mortal Shell, obviously. So you take over these suits of armor and you 
pretty much learn about who that person was that you just took over. And during the first playthrough of the recordings I did, this area was just a... It's a swampy location. It's kind of a little nasty and whatnot. I enjoy it. Did our first boss battle here. It took me like three times. Look at that. Mm -mm. I don't know what we're inside of, but that shit is badass. Like, I never noticed that. When I did my first playthrough of this game, I never noticed what that was. In fact, it's... Man, that's pretty interesting. What the hell? Oh. So I'm not too familiar with this about certain things of this game. But I will tell you this, though. It, this game forces you to keep using items. Like right here. Here we go. So there's a suit of armor here. And you are able to just take control of it. Kind of like that Scooby-Doo episode with the Black Knight. Oh, here we are. We got our first armor. And, and the armor in this game is quite cool. A lot of good detail to it. Leather based. A little bit like a... A little bit like fucking, um... What's his name? Goblin Slayer. So here's the thing. When you get your ass kicked by an enemy, you get a chance to get your armor back with a full head of health. But you can only do it once. These mushrooms here, they give you health. And they give you health for like 30 seconds. So a 30 seconds per... A point per 30 seconds. There you go. I'm not too sure what most of this stuff does. And here we go here. This gives us a glimpse of, I guess, where we're supposed to go. And there's some kind of person standing there or whatever. We'll eventually get to him. The game has pretty nice detail in this stuff. You can play a loot. There we go. Play this loot right here. Pretty much the game requires you to keep using items just to, to understand what they do. There's booze around here as well, so you can drink this moonshine. And I guess what the moonshine does is that it, it increases whatever you just consumed. So our first mission is to go that way. In the other video, I did go certain directions, but I ended up dying because there was poison in the area. So I'm going to just head towards that boss fight. <laughs> yep, even the enemies play music and stuff. Yep. What's great about this game too compared to Dark Souls is that there's different animations towards fighting. It's like they were playing uh, For Honor and said, fuck it, let's do something For Honor can do. Oh, ran out of stamina. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, they're smart enough to put traps around here. This is always locked, these treasure chests right there. I don't know if you saw that, but it's a statue. The first boss fight is in there, so I'll take you guys in there. As soon as I figure out. That mushroom poisoned me the last time I used it.
And this is technically the Shrine Maiden. She's very Pray, pretty. What wayward spirit beckons? I shall name you family, and you may call me Sester Janessa. You're uninitiated in the Raphaid's mysteries, I see. What a curiosity you are, wearing a mat like a shell. You've awakened him, but you know nothing of him yet. Fetch me one of his mementos, and some tar too, and I'm sure we can stir up some recollections. Of course, first you must find his name. Pretty much, when you get Tar, it's like your souls. So when you get Tar, you can use the abilities to enhance the character. And not only that, you get to learn more about him. That's where the boss fight is. And... And it shows another one. So... Now that we have my health up, let's go fight that boss. It took me about three tries to actually hit, beat this guy. Hopefully it doesn't take me that much. Come on, fuck face. Do this. that part. Oh, fuck. That's never happened to me before. This is where that part I told you about comes in. There it goes. This is my last part to actually win this fucking fight. Okay, you run out of room really, really fast here. first try on a second try <laughs> Ooh. so yeah he's the first boss fight he was pretty difficult but you learn his pattern eventually so I'll make your way down here well that's blocked in I never explored this part yet but I just assumed we had to go down there for that uh, other night or that other shell all right so here we go back to her to talk to her yes. about the tar slowly now Ooh, slowly. You want me to put it in? Ah! Seek a name. You must discover the shell's name to awaken its power. Oh, yeah. You. So this is what we do. We give her the tar. The brigands pointed us toward the temple. Shunned by the devout, their allegiances lie to those who are fatah, or spirits. They entertain themselves with drunken antics or violent cruelties. 
They know better than to attack us. But they followed us at a distance, hoping for scraps. Horus the Vessel. Cool. So yeah, this is as far as I got before I realized the uh, the game was really the Elgato that I have fucked it all up. So yeah, Ancient. Killing two enemies to quick session resets your heart and cooldown. See, that's perfect. So pretty much... He ushered me deeper into the labyrinth. It must have oh, been wow. dug by a thousand hands. I ignored much of what he said until he called my name. Smiling, he forgave me for the crime I would soon commit. It was all etched in stone, he assured me. These were the ravings of a madman. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that. Yeah, so I guess when you, uh, when you enhance the character's abilities, you learn more about the uh, the shell that you took over, the man. So that is, I just learned that right now. So, so pretty much my final thought on this whole game is it's good. Like, it's it did what Dark Souls couldn't do, and that's tell a story. See, with Dark Souls, all you got to do is pick up armor, pick up weapons, items, and read the description, and it gives you a little history lesson of what it is. This game does this too. But it encourages you to keep using those items in order to find out more about it. But here, whatever armor you pick up or shell in this case, you have to work your way to unlocking who this person was. And then you get some abilities on how this person fights. I, I like that For Honor feel for it too. Because, you know, you could learn different abilities. And in For Honor, you have different types of uh, attacks and different types of, like, uh, animations for attacks. So... I like this game. I gave it 9 out of 10. The only reason why I gave it a 10 <laughs> is because I didn't like how... I didn't like that there's no real, like, customization to it. Or maybe there is. I just haven't dug deep into it because I'm just re-recording the first session. And believe it or not, the first three recordings were each 30 minutes long. So it's because I was exploring areas, but I wanted to hurry up and give a brief description... Or a small description of how I feel about this game. I encourage anybody who loves Dark Souls to give it a try. I mean, it's unique. It's its own flavor. It. I like the swampy area we're in. Mossy, dirty, etc. So, for the bosses. The boss was interesting. It reminded me of Savage Knuckle Blade from Magic the Gathering. So, yeah, this is Mortal Shell. I love it. I'll continue it more especially with dark souls 2 that's another thing dark souls 2 i screwed up with one of the boss fights because this elgato i have the s plus fucked up the video as you probably saw if i remembered to edit it in but anyways yeah get pick up this game it's pretty good i love it see you guys later